called Hit and Run. And of course, we had Jim Casey in here just a few moments ago. It's a big Hollywood film with a local connection. Our very own financial expert, Jim Casey, along with Kim Waltrip, they give us a closer look at this movie. You're going to have a wonderful day today. Thanks, buddy. You're so terrible on the eyes. I don't know why I share a bed with you. Congratulations on the film again. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It is a funny, funny movie that all the audiences will love. I think so. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. I, I find it to be this romantic comedy with lots of car chases. And then you probably find it a lot of car chases with, with a little romance in there. Exactly. Right? I keep thinking of the car chases and thinking of the romance has got it all. There you go. You guys complete each other. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> I was kind of involved in bank robbery. When I got into witness protection, I knew I wasn't going to be that guy anymore. You're a bank robber? I did the getaway driving part. Who are you? How did you guys get involved with making Hit and Run? Tell, give us the genesis. A, a friend of ours presented us with, got presented with the script and sent it, I was just talking to him last night, sent it over and said, hey, I've got the script. Um, Bradley Cooper's attached to it. It's written by Dax Shepard. It's got Kristen Bell. And you want to take a look at it. And we, we were both in New York. Right. We both read it. Well, actually, we were flying to New York, and we were we were reading on the planes, separate planes. God bless, go go, and fight internet. That's right. And then we were, we were emailing landed. back and forth, like, I love it, I love it too. Let's talk when we land. And then we called Nate Tuck, who's the producer on the film, and you know, we said, oh, we want to invest in this movie, and he's like, uh huh. Uh huh. Called him the next day. No, no, we're really serious. <laughs> and then the third day, I said. I can't believe how hard it is to give away money. Right. And he was cracking him. He goes, oh, they really are serious. <laughs> are so serious. then we had a conference call and it was And away we go. Everywhere. Were you guys part of the creative process? Did you choose the stars? Oh. How, how nope. Did Dax no. did that all by himself. Yep. He needed no help. We didn't have a casting director. He was the casting director. Now these people love him. They would have done anything for him. And that says a lot about him. As a director. As a director and, and a, a writer person. and an actor. I mean, it's, yeah, it's a lot of creativity rolled up in one man. Because yeah. unlike you, I was born after the polio vaccine. What are you talking about? <laughs> I am five years older than you. Well, how do I know that? I've seen no documentation of that. For all I know, you're 45. <laughs> Listen, what do you guys want the viewers to take away from the film? To have a good time. Yeah, fun just and love. Those are my their, two words. Leave the problems at home yeah. and just go have a great time. Aww. And take their honey. Yeah. Exactly. It is. It's a, great, it's a great couples movie. Uh, right. Because there's something in it for everybody. Everyone. But even Everyone. my son, who's 18, just absolutely loved it. Wow. The best thing that we so. did, one, well, there was one person at the screening last night that it was his second screening. He loved the screen, test screening he went through first. He came back again. That's what I love so much. I experienced mm -hmm. it time and time again. I could watch that movie over and over again. Is it a Mexican guy? No. Is it one of those white guys? Charlie? It was Filipino! Solve your dilemma? So be sure to watch KMIR 6 today, uh, tomorrow rather, see how many kisses Manny will give it. Does it get a good run? Check out Manny the Movie Guy's Preview Plus prizes from the movie tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. Time right now.